morning, Bushwhackers! Today we're going to find out, will it pickle? But before that, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Our first flavor that we are trying of pickled foods from the wild is wild carrot. Now this type of carrot is a more medicinal carrot. It's white, not orange or purple or if you go to a farmer's market or green. But this is a white medicinal carrot. The link for the identification video will be over Brandon's head. Now let's try the wild carrot. Now they're all weird shaped because they're not that perfect straight down. There's rocks in the wild. Oh, ready? Cheers. Chewy. Very fibrous. Tastes more like... There, there's a certain flavor with wild carrot that you can't get with regular carrot. Yeah, the cultivated carrot. Yeah, cultivated and stuff. It's like more... Uh, stronger flavor. Yeah. Um, That's why it's like more of a medicinal. It's that like strong medicinal flavor to there. But it's almost like that licorice kind of flavor. You can kind of eat these straight out of the ground, but this method, pickling or boiling. Yep. You can just aim both ways. is the best way. So then you can like munch them down instead of just you're chewing on them and you have to spit out the rest. Will wild carrots Pickle! Yes! Yes. Our next flavor of food that we are trying that's pickled is Golden Hornet Crab Apple. If you want to see the identification video for that, it will be right over Brandon's head. So, these are in small wedges. They're only, they're very small. It's a crab apple. But imagine a, um, Golden uh, Delicious with, uh, what was it, Granny Smith? Maybe it's in a combination like that and nice and tart. But, this is pickle. So let's cheers it. Cheers. Let's try it. I get the apple right at the beginning. Then I go to the tasting the vinegar, the like mustard and dill in there and like the apple fades away so it's not bad but it's not like a strong apple flavor the texture is a little different flavor wise like it it's very vinegary and i like a vinegary so it has a lot more of that flavor versus like there's there is apple flavor yeah it's it's in there because golden apple is a very strong flavor it's just a hint like, it's in there but just a hint, hint. of the golden hornet crab apple but it's not up front and telling you it's apple. It's uh, just a little bit. It's good, but it's not like you don't taste it the whole time with the pickle. You taste apple, then pickle. Will Golden Hornet Crab Apples pickle? Yes. Yes. Our next flavor of food that we are trying is Autumn Olives. But these are actually olives, but more of a berry olive. The flavor that you get in the store that tastes like wild berry, all the different flavors of the berries, that's the flavor of this. Now imagine pickling that flavor, the wild berry flavor pickled. Let's try this. And they're very small. Ready? Cheers. No extreme berry. Tastes more like an olive. I, I think it's more toward like the idea if you threw a couple of capers into a pickle jar. Yeah. It's That's a, what the, this is like. Yeah, imagine they're about the size of like capers. Pop the same way as a caper. Tastes similar, but not, not like a caper, but similar as of olives. They're good. So, we'll... Autumn olives pickle. Yes. Yes. Our next flavor of food that we are trying is wild small cranberries. Now these are not like the cranberries that you get in the store. 
Those are the large cranberry or the pilgrim cranberry. If you want to see that video of the identification video of the small cranberry, it will be over Brandon's head. Now let's try these cranberries. Let's, let's see if they actually penetrated in. Now with the cranberries, these are actually um, springtime harvest, not fall harvest because like they're maybe a little bit sweeter because with the freezing and starting to thaw, they'll be a nice sweet flavor, but they also pop. Instead of like solid on the inside, they're more liquid. So you get a lot more like juice on the inside. So it's easier to get cranberry juice when you harvest in the spring. Like March is the best time to harvest. But ready? Cheers. The pickle flavor didn't even penetrate. Didn't even penetrate. There's no pickle flavor. I think what you should do is mash it up and you can put it on things. So I think pickle juice with yeah. that would be good. Yeah, but there's no but pickle. You, it did not uh, penetrate. You mince it up, smash it up, probably, and then you put it as a marinade. Yeah, but um, that's already such thing. Cranberries with a marinade. Yeah. But these did not pickle at all. So I'm gonna see if uh, maybe try a different one. No, there's like a pickling uh, spice and seasoning on the outside, but it did not penetrate on the inside at all. Maybe over time. Maybe a really long period of time. Will cranberries pickle? No. Uh -huh. Our next flavor of food is milkweed pods. Let's try the milkweed pods. Oh, it's dripping. Now they're basically like a little balloon kind of thing filled with vinegar. So if I squeeze it a little bit, it runs the juice right out. So you can get a mouthful of vinegar or you can drain it out. Ready? Three, cheers. Three, two, one. Very soft, very mushy. Has that full pickle flavor. Kind of imagine like a green bean kind of flavor, but a little bit different. I, I would say the same thing, green bean. It's like a pickle green beans and those amazing. Will milkweed pods pickle? Yes. Yes. Our next and last flavor of food that we are trying is pickled perch fish eggs. Let's try these. Does not smell fishy at all. Now these are fresh perch eggs. We just caught these recently, so. Less these are not fishy. Less than a month ago. Yes. Let's cheers. Let's try. No, that does not. That's fishy. You made it more fishy. Those are fresh. I don't know what uh, like freezer burn would be. No, that's not freezer burn. No, what would freezer burn taste like? Oh, it's still in my mouth. Oh, that's fishy. If, if we get 10 likes, we'll do pogey catch and cook. <laughs> No! If we get one like, we'll do pogey catch <laughs> No! We're doing If we get catch. 50 likes, we will do a pogey catch and cook. We're not doing it for one or ten. We're doing it for 50 what likes. What if we just do it? Well, probably at that point, too. Is this tasting good, bud? No. Yeah. You like fish. Oh, I like fish. And some fishy flavors actually good, like trout. Or salmon. There is fishy flavor. Do you like a little bit? Of that? A little fishy is but fine, it, it, but um, that's a bit much in this. Much. And these we actually caught and then froze right after, and then just cooked. Like I cooked them and unthawed them and then pickled them, and that was only a few days ago. Like five days ago, I cooked it and pickled. This is a five-day pickle. Oh, the most. Uh, the, 
refrigerated pickle uh, mix. This, this is so. this is close to being as fishy as pogey. Yeah. Not as fishy. This is really fresh, but and it's fishy. It's very very fishy. Not enjoyable unless you like that flavor. But by itself, it's not that good. Maybe it's going would be good in a dish. And I would probably agree with that point. It doesn't smell uh, like anything right uh, now. It doesn't smell fishy, but the flavor, it's definitely fishy. Uh, so cooking with it, putting it in a dish, well, would, be bad. <laughs> would, be good, would be good. But eating it by itself, not good. Will yellow perch fish eggs pickle? No. No. Well, that was some flavors. Some good. The last one, bad. Uh, so, what are your thoughts about all the pickled flavors that we just had? Um, the, the, worst, the, the worst one, the, the fish eggs, like the purse eggs. Yeah, the, and then the they're not as fishy when they're fresh. Yeah. And that made it worse. Yeah, that made it way worse. Yeah. Uh, and then the best being milkweed. Oh yeah, the milkweed's really good. I uh, enjoyed actually the autumn olive. The autumn olive was, it didn't taste like wild berry flavor. It tasted more like a actual olive. So that's really good that it's like figuring out that way. So trying to figure out ways to use autumn olive and with promoting them in these videos, what can you do with the invasive olives? They're everywhere. If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel or Brandon's channel, or press the round subscribe buttons to both of our channels to help both of us get to a thousand subscribers. And until next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.